I was gonna say I'm so excited, but I say that every time. Welcome back to Get Fit With Wit. Today, we're combining two of my favorite things, okay? Fitness and makeup. It's a get ready with me video with a Q&A in it. It's fun, okay? It's gonna be a great video. I, I would know because I, I just filmed it, so. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and never forget to subscribe so you never miss a fit tip with wit again without further ado it's time for a get ready with me video oh, i'm so excited i had to say it once i had to say it once let's jump in to this video today i'm going in with a matte foundation and if you know anything about me your girl has the world's driest skin so i need to go in with something super hydrating this is the hourglass primer serum listen this is the most hydrating thing in the entire world. She's been a big blessing in my life. My Sahara Desert skin thanks her. Break up with your girlfriend. It's Valentine's Day today. What are our feelings about Valentine's Day? I love Valentine's Day. You know what I love more though? Galentine's Day. Lately, I have pores and that's just kind of confusing to me. I feel betrayed by my pores, appalled, hurt deceived all of the above this is the tarte timeless smoothing primer i have used this sucker for ever it's so good oh wait before i forget <laughs> almost forgot i really wanted to try this out this is the new nars super radiant booster i'm just gonna apply it everywhere Ooh, beautiful Ooh, that is glowy you know i feel like maybe that was excessive. Maybe I applied a little bit too much of that. The foundation that I've been testing out lately is the new foundation from Tarte. This is the face tape foundation. This is very full coverage and it's very matte. So I like to mix it in with a little bit of beauty oil. This is just the maracuja oil. Any beauty oil will work, but I'm telling you, if I don't add a little oil to it, whoo, she doesn't look good, I'll tell you that much. Excuse me, excuse, excuse me, excuse, get a towel. How cute did Navy look back here today? He got a haircut, he looks five years younger. All right, mixing this foundation with just a drop or two. One, two. Keeping the cocktail pretty nonchalant today. I'm getting so many questions about an update on the celery juice and how it's going for me. And you know, it's not going very well. The thing with celery juice is if you don't stay consistent with it, I don't think it's gonna work. If you missed my recent full day of eatings, the reason why I started trying out the celery juice is because I had so many people tell me it was gonna help with my psoriasis. But let me just tell ya, I don't know if it's cause I wasn't consistent with it. I was consistent with it for a solid 30 to 40 days, but after that it just started getting way too hard because it was a wit miss, I was traveling, so yeah. It's just a whole, it's a whole lot of work. So right now I'm not doing it. I didn't see any changes with my psoriasis, which was the main reason that I started doing it. So I don't know, I definitely could have done it longer, but maybe one day I'll try it again. But you know, maybe not, probably not. See, I feel like the beauty oil just helps it kind of stay a little bit more dewy, a little hydrating. Yesterday I got my eyebrows tinted and there's still a lot of the dye on my skin. So that's why my eyebrows look a little, a little crazy today. My entire life I did not let one person touch my eyebrows. I was too scared to let anybody touch them until just a few months ago and it's been the best decision I've ever made. All right, so that's left it on the celery juice. It didn't go well for me. I will say my skin was radiating because you're so hydrated from drinking so much celery juice. It really helped with my glowy skin and TMI, but it did really help with my system. I get this question all the time. Everyone wants to know what Stefan does for work. So Stefan is a computer engineer. Right now he works for a company as a data product manager. Listen, that's a whole world I don't understand. When he's talking about work and all the stuff he's doing, I'm like, yeah, I understand. So many people ask me if I got a new dog. Oh, I wish. Well, I don't wish because I don't want a third dog, but my best friends, Ryan and Katie, got a dog. Milo, he's my godson. I cherish him with my whole heart and soul. He is amazing, he is perfect. I did forget how much work puppies are though. I've been posting about him so much on Instagram. I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed with him. Navy and Indy, they're coming around to him. They're getting there. Indy and Navy are both in dog training right now. Indy needs a lot of socialization training. I've discovered that Indy's terrified of every other dog and human in this world. So we're, we're working on her right now. I should have talked about this before I applied it under my eyes. I look like a little crazy person. This is the new concealer from L'Oreal. It is the infallible full wear more than concealer. And holy guacamole, it's phenomenal. And it's drugstore. We love that. 
It took me 18 years to find my shade, but this is Cashmere 360. It's still so light for me, but I don't hate it. When in doubt, ladies, dab it out. This is an interesting question. Somebody asks, what are the names of your other siblings and why don't you talk about them? Listen. Linda. I choose to put my life on the internet, not my siblings. You know what I'm saying? But I do have an older brother, two younger brothers, and a younger sister. There's five of us. My youngest brother is 12. He still lives at home. But you guys know how it is. I keep my personal life very personal. I don't think my siblings want to be anywhere near my YouTube channel. Wow. Do you see this concealer? She's full coverage. Okay, next question. Do you ever give in to your cravings? Yes, absolutely. So when I first started getting in shape and losing weight, I refused to give in to any cravings. I tried to eat as healthy as possible. I never messed up. I ate perfectly. And then what would happen is I would do that for too long and then lose my mind. I would mentally break down and eat everything in sight because I deprived myself for way too long. So what I always say when it comes to craving is if you have eaten perfect all day long and it's the end of the day and you're like I gotta have a cookie have a cookie girl you have that cookie obviously this is gonna be different for everyone I know a lot of people love having a full cheat day I like dibbling and dabbling here and there this is what works best for me because then I don't lose my mind and go crazy and eat an entire packet of Sour Patch watermelons instead I'll just have a few a handful call a day go to bed sleep tight don't let the bed bugs bite I hated that I hated that about me I hated the fact that I would eat perfect all week and I would constantly think about sweets and I wouldn't cave I wouldn't give in and then the end of the week would come and the weekend I just went crazy and I hated that so it's gonna be different for everyone but I believe if you have some cravings dabble in a little bit the 80 20 rule 80 percent healthy 20 percent a little bit of sweets and treats here and there you know that's a rule I live by would you ever get an extreme haircut like a pixie cut absolutely not it's a no for me I've cut my hair to like my shoulders a little bit longer and I loved it but I don't know here's just not something I'm passionate about favorite thing about living in Utah definitely the mountains Utah is so this is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Powder Under Eye and Face Powder. I used to go in with a beauty blender and go crazy with the powder, but I've stopped doing that. We love a cake face, but we don't like crackly, lackly skin. Does that make any sense? So I take just a little dabble, a little dabble, and base it underneath my eyes. I have to set my concealer. If I don't set my concealer, I'm not okay. Okay, somebody asked, have you met a subscriber and then became friends? Yes. One of my really good friends, Kylie, I met her at the gym and she watched my YouTube videos and she's become a really good friend of mine. Same with her best friend, Anna. Allie, who films all my videos for me, she was a subscriber. And we kind of had some mutual friends. And then, you know, look at us now. BFFs for life. I'm back on the butter bronzer game. It's so good. It's butter. It just glides on like butter. All right, I still get questions about if I'm doing intermittent fasting anymore. I stopped intermittent fasting a year now. I stopped last February. And the reason that I stopped is because my goals just really shifted. I went from maintaining to I wanted to put on a lot of weight. My goal was just to grow. I loved intermittent fasting, but when I was trying to put on weight, I have to eat in a surplus and I could not fit all my meals in, in the short amount of time that you can eat during intermittent fasting. When it comes to what I'm eating and how I'm eating, I always update you guys in my full day of eating. So I remember posting a full day of eating, talking about why I'm not doing IF anymore but that's a recap I'm bronzed up I love the coverage of this foundation but it just settles so quickly into my smile lines it's crazy break up with your girlfriend I cannot get that song out of my head okay I'm gonna go on with blush this has been the highlight of my life and navy and indies clearly this is the new blush palette from Jouer and it is good I'm gonna dabble in these nudes today when it comes to makeup we keep it plain and simple around here. Blush changed my life. There was a time in my life I didn't wear blush. Now, it's my favorite thing in the world. No, it's the first thing to go. So if you go too heavy, it's okay. It'll fade. Huh, Andy? You're so cute. I'm gonna eat you for dinner tonight. Break up with you. Gotta stop. I've talked about this little mini guy in a favorites video before, I think from November. This is the Natasha Denona Mini Nude Palette. The reason why I love this is because it just makes my life easy. I feel pretty confident in my skin. I feel like I can do my foundation, a little contour, a little blush, a little highlight. Eyeballs? Don't know how to do that. This is the Tarte Man Eater Palette. So I'm gonna take the Mia. 
love that. <laughs> the meow shade. And kind of just set my eyeballs with it before I start going in with the Natasha. The Natasha Denona palettes are so expensive, but everybody talks so highly of her shadows. So I feel like this is like the perfect way for me to dibble and dabble into her shades. I'm going in with Sienna. Okay, Sarah asked, why did I stop working out legs three times a week? So the reason why I stopped training legs three times a week is super simple. I wasn't giving myself enough recovery time. So it'd be the third leg day of the week and I would be dying. And one thing I've come to know <laughs> over the last year is to really listen to your body and give your body the recovery time that it needs. When I first started working out, for the first like three years that I started working out, if I missed one workout, I thought all the progress that I had made was gonna go down the drain. So I used to work out six times a week. Now I'm working out four to five times a week, which thinking back and thinking back to the old me, I put the gym first. If somebody asked me to hang out, I'd say, nope, gotta work out. If I couldn't move, I would still get myself to the gym. I'm very proud of that mental change that I switched because I have seen the best results in my fitness journey by allowing myself the time to recover. Three leg days a week, especially over the last year as I've been trying to up my weight, it just, it was just too much. So I still hit legs twice a week, but leg day used to be my absolute favorite. And now I think it's my least favorite day now. I loved this question. How do you deal with creepy guys at the gym? I'm very fortunate because the gym that I go to is full of a lot of mom and dad. So there's not a lot of people there that are my age, but I will say this, my gym does have a lot of older men that work out there. I've never told this story before, but I'm ready to tell it. <laughs> so I was standing facing my two girlfriends and they were facing me and then behind my two girlfriends, Kylie and Anna, who I just told you about, behind them was this older gentleman and he was doing a lap pull down, but you know, instead of doing a lap pull down, he was staring at my friend's butts and it made me feel so uncomfortable because this is his lap pull down, you ready? And then it just went to this, you know? This was too much for me. I found that so, I don't like, it just really bugged me. And I feel like I'm very defensive of my friends. So I asked him, I said, listen, sir, can you please not stare at their bums? And do you know what he said to me? He said, old habits die hard. I said, listen, sir, it's 2019. Let's kick that one to the curb maybe. So anyways, how I deal with creeps at the gym. If I'm feeling really uncomfortable, I'll just move. If it gets to the point where I feel like I need to say something, I'll say it. I was, I was feeling a little spicy that day. Okay, I'm taking a little bit of this underneath my eyeball. So many questions about Invisalign. Update us on Invisalign, why are you doing it? Real quick though, I'm gonna pop in with this darker brown. This is soil. Okay, so the reason that I started Invisalign is I just got a new dentist, did all the x-rays, and he told me that a lot of my teeth on the bottom are starting to chip because my overbite is so bad. That's why I started Invisalign, to fix my overbite, but I'll be honest with you guys, I'm really struggling with it. I don't like it. It's also just really inconvenient because I love to snack. I'm all about the snackaroonies, snacking all day long, and when you have Invisalign, you can't. People told me I'm going to be going on the Invisalign diet. And I was like, ha ha ha, good joke. No, they're not wrong. Everyone's telling me to stick it out. Ashley Barron Fitness. I love her. Love, love, love her. If you don't follow her, you need to follow Ashley. One of the nicest girls I've ever met. She had Invisalign for, I think she said a year. So every time I'm feeling discouraged, I text her and she says, keep going. But I don't know. I just don't know if I can do it, fam. I'm miserable. I need to eat my snacks. I loved this question. What do you do when it doesn't really feel like it's a beautiful day to be alive? I haven't talked about this in a while, but the reason why that quote came about is because I wanted to not only change my mindset because I was in a very dark place, but I just think that when you're in that dark mindset, it just seems like maybe nothing's going right in your life and it just feels like there's no hope and no light at the end of the tunnel. Whatever you're going through, there is at least one thing that you can be grateful for. Even though I felt so heartbroken and so alone and I never felt like anything was gonna get better, I was grateful that I had a dog, Navy. He was always my number one reason why it's beautiful day to be alive. <laughs> I always had my health. I had a roof over my head. I had a bed to sleep in. So I totally get it. I know how it feels to really feel like there is 
nothing positive and those days are so hard i hope that just by remembering that maybe there is one reason why today is a beautiful day to be alive can help start changing your mindset and that's exactly what it did for me that's why that quote means so much to me i'm so glad it has impacted so many of you because it truly has helped me through some of the darkest times in my life what would you tell someone who is thinking about getting a pup but isn't Sure. So the biggest piece of advice I can give to somebody who is thinking about getting a dog is making sure that not only do you have the money for a pup or that you can take care of your pup, you can keep them up on their shots, but also most importantly that you have the time to be with your pup. Nothing breaks my heart more than somebody who gets a pup and then they go to work eight to five every day and their dog is in a crate for over eight hours a day. It breaks my heart. Puppies need so much love and they need so much attention and training and sometimes you have to retrain them like I'm doing. Now that I've blended two colors together for about 20 minutes, I like to just top it off with some glitter. I'm gonna go in with this bronzy shimmer and then I'll add this light one to my brow bone and inner corner. Do you work out when you are sick? So this is something that also has changed over the years. How I was talking about how I didn't listen to my body, I refused to listen to my body. And if I was sick, I would go to the gym and try to push through it and it usually ended up being a crappy workout. Listen, if you are sick, please take the time that your body needs to rest. So if I'm sick, no, I do not go to the gym. I always get a lot of questions if I work out my period. Yes, I just, I go in there and I just, I get it done. I just don't let that stop me, you know? Somebody asked, how do you deal with jealousy when it comes to your boyfriend? My relationship with Stefan is the first relationship that I've ever been in where I don't have to deal with jealousy or trust issues. I truly trust Stefan with every fiber of my heart and being. And I know that he feels the same way about me, but it took me a long time to find that relationship where I feel so secure and stable. I remember being a freshman in college and the person that I was dating, I knew he was doing some sketchy stuff behind my back. Like I could just feel it. I remember I tried to like snoop on his phone and like looking back on that, that's so unhealthy. And I knew in my gut that was not the person that I was supposed to be with. And I really encourage you, if you were dealing with jealousy or trust issues, that might not be the healthiest relationship. I'm very fortunate because with Stefan, I've never had to deal with those issues, but in past relationships, it was hard. And it's very discouraging to be in a relationship that you don't feel secure and confident in. I forgot to put shadow on my, my lower lash line, so. I love to take little brushes like this and I'll go in with that darker color. Add a little definition to my lash line with it. I don't wanna do anything to my brows because I got them done yesterday. I will say, I've talked about this product a million and 10 times. The only thing that I use on my brows now is the Glossier Boy Brow. I do two layers of it. I let the first layer get a little tacky and I brush all my hairs up. And then once it's tacky, I go in with the second layer and kind of form my hairs where I want them. And that's how I get the fluffy brow appearance. I'm gonna set my face through and then, and then we go in with highlight. This is the Lila B A Glow Face Mist. You love a good glow. Kind of smells like a little funky, but it works. I'm gonna be honest with you when I say I could not not buy this. This is the Forever Set from Kylie Cosmetics and the reason that I could not not buy this is because the lippies are named after Taylor Swift songs. I mean, that hasn't been confirmed, but you can't tell me that this is called Built to Last and that has no correlation to Taylor Swift song. It's a three piece lip kit. It comes with a little lip gloss. What's this lip gloss called? The Story of Us, come on. You guys know how much I love Taylor Swift, so. Also this nude is so pretty. So this is the lip liner in Forever and Always and the matte liquid lipstick in Built to Last. Oh, I almost forgot highlight. Don't let me forget to put my highlighter on. Honestly, Kylie's lippies are one of my favorite. I would say Kylie and Jeffrey and Dose of Colors. This is my three favorite liquid lipstick formulas. Okay, this is a funny question. Have you ever corrected somebody's form in the gym? Mm-hmm. You see this? So cute. I'm gonna go on with the same highlight that I talked about in my January favorites video. This is the powder highlight from Jouer and Topaz. This stuff is good. So I get embarrassed very, very quickly. So the thought of somebody coming up to me and correcting my form mortifies me and I would never want to ever make somebody feel that way. Now I have had people ask me if what they're doing is correct form and I think that's a whole other story because if somebody's coming to you and asking for help they're there to get your help. Do you see this highlight right now? Come on. I just kind of put this everywhere. A day without highlight is not a day for me. Okay, I'm running late for the dentist. All right, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed today's Get Ready With Me slash Q&A. Thank you so much for letting me do these videos. You guys know I love makeup 
just as much as I love fitness. So thanks for letting me combine my two favorite things in the whole world, besides Navy and Indy. Before I go, I won't keep you here too much longer, but we have a tradition here on Get Filled With Wit. A one, a two, a one, two. I was busy thinking about boys, boys. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being here. And until next time, I will see you next time.